Okay. Good morning, dear Matrixers. It's already evening for you. No. It's afternoon in Mexico. Almost 4 p.m. I am already hungry. And today it's about the exciting topic of free will. Do we have free will? And if so, how much of it? Yes, free will is a very exciting topic and has occupied many philosophers. There are actually three forms or three main currents in philosophy. First of all, there is free will. Yes, there is free will. Other philosophers say no. They rather represent the deterministic philosophy. That is, everything is predetermined. And then there is the fatalistic philosophical current of thought, I would say, which says that everything is governed by fate. Destiny, that is, fatalism and determinism have certain similarities. Yes, yes. Some say everything is predetermined. Others say yes, everything works the way it has to. And then, of course, there's the multiversal stream of thought, or the one that assumes it because a plethora of millions of possibilities for everyone to choose from. Does free will exist? I think it's deterministic free will. Like Jung Pueblo once said to an angel, you tell me, is it all free will or is it fate? And then the angel said both. Exactly. Why did the angel say both? Because it's both. Yes. Okay. You want it specifically? Yes. I want it concrete. Concrete? I want it more specific. Concrete? Okay. I think the thing is that we have many realities and you always have the choice to make a choice, the free will to make a choice. Realities are all deterministic, but you have the will or free will to choose whichever reality you go into. Oh, so you mean let's say there are a hundred train stations. Exactly. And if you select one of these stations and then get on a train, you have selected the train. But once you're on the train, you have to drive first. Exactly. Or if we're already at stations and I'm the engine driver and the tracks branch off, then I have the decision. Do I now go to Rostock or to Berlin when I'm a train driver? And if I decide in favor of Rostock, of course, I won't come to Berlin. End of the story. But I end up in Rostock. Deterministic but free will. Rostock. So free will is something like, hmm. Like the train tracks? Yes. Once you have decided to board a train, you must first follow these tracks. Until you arrive. Not quite. You can say from time to time, I'll get out or jump out the door and walk to Berlin. Always works no. I think you kind of mixed that up with the analogy a bit now. No, I would never do that. Yes, so how do I see that? So the way I see it, we all have an active and a passive will. Yes, from a higher perspective. Totally viewed from above. The active will might say oh great, there's a tree, I'll climb that now and you climb up the tree to get a better view and then suddenly you fall out of a tree and break your leg. That was the passive will. That is, originally, from the passive will perspective, you climb the tree only to fall down and break your leg. Your active will, the will that you were aware of at the moment, was yes, I would like to climb the tree. 
so one differentiates here between everyday self-will and higher self-will. Yes, that's how it is, that's how you can see it. Therefore, passive will and active will. And the active will is just our normal everyday will or our wishes, what we would like. Sure. You can decide now whether you want to eat now or tomorrow morning. It's a really bad idea. Or whether to start now or in an hour. Or whether to go to a party or not to go to the party. You can decide that, if you want to. But of course they defend determinism. Of course they say no matter what you have in mind, you go to the party when you are meant to go to the party. Yes, I mean, the deja vu somehow fits in there quite well. Because you have the feeling, damn it, I've experienced that before. Why am I experiencing exactly the same thing again? Or those future flashes that you have that always happen. You already think hmm, well I'm standing here now, there's my flash of the future. And after three hours I stand there and then it really happens. So is it deterministic now? Yes, of course that is an argument for those who advocate determinism. They say yes. Everything is predetermined and that's why you will ultimately end up where you were meant to end up. But from a higher perspective, it's, uh, it's meant for you, but you made the decision yourself. From the point of view of the higher self is that you are yourself, you have decided to walk this path. So it's free will again. And I believe that the further the consciousness is and the more or closer you get to the higher self or the further you get to the expanded self, the more real, real free will you just have. That's how I see it. The fatalists, who believe in fate, like to use the old adage that man thinks and God directs. That's true somewhere. It's just like that. Man thinks 35,000 possibilities rightly and in the end one decides for those that God has just predetermined. God in terms of the higher self. Yes, you can say so representatively. Yes, so at the end of the day you are all right. Yes, seen like that. From that point of view, of course, everyone is right and so is what the angel of Jung Pueblo said. Yes, both. So personally, based on my personal dreaming experience, I have seen that at night when we go to sleep we enter a state of consciousness, enter a dream state. This is a very specific level where we play through different realities. And by playing through different realities, we then also discuss which reality I like best. And then choose this reality. And then free will becomes active at that moment. And when I wake up in the morning, I experience a very deterministic, predetermined reality or the reality that I have just defined in my dream state. It's all on purpose. Yes, the higher self is the intention. He intends to go exactly this way or exactly that and we determine that either at night or even before the incarnation. Certain hops points. What do you call the fixed points, i.e. Certain fixed point, we have already defined them beforehand, which we will definitely do, no matter what happens, no matter what we choose. We have already decided on this before we are incarnated. For example, that we meet is predetermined. Certain strokes of fate are predetermined. Blows of fate are fine, but then that is fatalistic because it was determined beforehand, albeit determined by us. That's why Jung Pueblo's angel said, both are true, because in the Dream state we choose the reality that is best for us to experience in everyday life. Or in the sense of our higher goal. But I find that with the active and passive free will quite exciting. Because then you already have the desire to want to expand your consciousness. Because then you move more and more from the active will to the passive will, which is not so passive at. 
all then more is, because then at some point the active, the passive will actually becomes active will. You know what I mean, because then they also merge somewhere. Less ego, more self. So you are what I mean. Well, for example, a story comes to mind about a friend I once knew. She had a brother and the brother wanted a solid, great partner for years and never found one. Never. He's been looking for years. He did get a few offers, I would say, but there was never the right one. And one day she called me and said, Oh Jonathan, my brother had an accident. Motorcycle. He's in the hospital now. Paralyzed. I'm getting goosebumps now. And the nurse who took care of him there was his dream partner. They got to know each other better there and then got married and stayed together after that. He had such a fate. Such a fate is predetermined. Naturally. Yes, of course you can ask yourself now. Yes, in order to find a partner, do you really want to sacrifice that? Namely never being able to walk again, being a paraplegic, just so that you can reach your goal? That is of course an understandable argument. Yes, seen from the everyday self. But from a higher perspective, we said, yes, it's not just the aspect that I now have a partner and I mean, that also has certain, I call it learning tasks, therapy tasks, then still paraplegic. So it all works together, because it's somehow, if you look at it that way, it's all on purpose. This is a perfect game somehow in. Yes, yes. So in the dream state he must have chosen this reality that he said, well, then I won't be able to walk anymore. But I finally meet my dream woman. And he accepted that. And in this dream state he determined it just as much with his free will. At that time there was also this dispute among physicists. Do you remember what is light? Is light a wave or is light a particle? And then they argued for so long, for decades, about what is true now. And finally they realized that light can be both waves and particles. And the same is true of free will. Free will can be deterministic, which means that it doesn't exist in this way, and yet it can exist. And that's the point, that in the dream state you can decide which reality do I head for tomorrow when I wake up and which not. And free will then only exists in a higher dream state and in everyday life. Yes, if one fulfills one's wish or one's choice in this state. In a higher state of consciousness, I once spoke to an expanded self of myself. That was behind me on the left and that said you have a lot more free will than you think. Yes, you do, because you can decide every night what you want and what you don't want. And of course, within everyday life you will also have a certain amount of free will. I would call that improvisation possibilities. So that means, do I do it like this or do I do it exactly like this? Or do I eat a plum or a banana or? Yes, that's clear. Yes, and if you still want to be on the alien's track, because I just happened to think of it with all the implants and the manipulation, occupations and otherwise, you still have free will. You have always decided somewhere that you want it or that you want to play along with something like that, etc. Etc. So that too is free will, even if you don't consciously notice it here. So in the everyday self this is already intention on a higher level. Dot. Well, that's what I saw on the higher astral planes, where people are waiting, so to speak, for their new incarnation. That a lot of things are discussed there. Where people then say watch out, you buy a dog now and then and I'm the dog seller and that's how we get to know each other and then when you're 23 and I'm 28, then we meet us pretty. Yes, 
much at that moment. So remember, buy a dog and then we'll get to know each other. Everything is discussed there, including with the aliens. So all these subjects who have been kidnapped by aliens. This is also agreed beforehand on the astral plane. They'll say yes, watch out. We'd like to have DNA samples from you when you're incarnated in physical reality. And we'll pick you up on our spaceship from time to time. Do a few tests, and then put you safely back to bed. And in return we'll examine you right away to see if you have any illnesses and then we'll heal them. And that's a deal that you can make on the astral plane before you incarnate. So you can see that everything is discussed at higher levels, simply everything. Often there are certain main points that are discussed. And then later, when you are incarnated, you can still go to the dream level where you then do a bit of fine-tuning and say, yes, the best thing to do is go this way and this way tomorrow. And there I meet my old schoolmate from 20 years ago, whom I always wanted to see again. So you can do smaller things there, too, and that's why I would say like the angel said it. In this Jung Pueblo quote, both are true, right? What would you say to I totally agree with you. So you notice this in everyday life anyway, that it is active and passive. You notice it too, if you pay attention to it or something. You also notice, for example, that you would like to go into town somehow and then you walk out the front door and suddenly you get a crap. I forgot my wallet. Go back, get your wallet and start walking again. And then, half an hour later, you meet a buddy in town. If you hadn't forgotten your wallet, you wouldn't have met. So you can tell there's already an influence. Oh, always forget, don't forget. Of itself. Yes by yourself so no one else will do that for you. This is you yourselves in this dream state, where you are just arranging such appointments or such events, also with others. Yes, I also saw that on the astral plane, that people met there and said watch out, you are also incarnating in Germany. Me too, when you're 30 or so, let's meet here or there. Yes, and then we'll work together again. What comes with free will? What comes to mind? With free will and with the intention that you always make yourself, is always accompanied by absolute responsibility for everything, for everything you do. But I think that's an extra topic, so that you keep it in the back of your mind. Yes, first of all, I would also say that it is a kind of thing. Start talking about free will. That has much bigger ramifications and that with the intention of everything that you choose on purpose, that you choose, etc. But we can talk about that another time. Or do it live with all your questions. Yes. Let's see how that turns out. At the moment we only have bad internet. Massively bad. Yeah, we can't do live video right now, but it's at the top of our list. Yes, because it was a cool action, it was fun and we would love to do it again. But exactly, when we have better internet, then we'll make live videos again, folks. Okay. Are we done? Yes. Annoyed enough. Bye. And by the way, thanks for watching folks. Until next time. Until next time. Yes indeed.